Yes, sir. Stationary Gaussian free yes, particle sir. wave packet. Okay. Uh, it is given at time t equal to zero. Problem number two point two one. Okay. From three phase. Hmm. Psi of x comma zero is given like this. A e power minus a x square. Okay. I mean, uh, so this is the initial wave function for a free particle. Free particle. Okay. So again, why he mentioned this? Because to find pi of k, you need psi of x comma zero. Hmm. I hope you remember pi of k as a integral of psi x comma zero into e power minus i k x into d x, isn't it? So to find pi of k, you need psi x comma zero. Normalize psi x comma zero and pi of find pi of k and substitute here. Okay. So I I told you to do part A and B of that problem. Problem number two point two one. Okay. Part A and B can be done. Okay. And part C uh, D will be uh, I mean lengthy. Okay, you can skip that one. But you need some idea. They may design questions sometimes out of this. So that's why uh, after finding psi x comma t, you have to take mod psi x comma t whole square. Okay, that mod psi x comma t whole square would be like this. Can you see this one? Okay. Yes. Sir. Mod psi x comma t the whole square. It will be like this. And uh, again, it will be this kind of function. Okay. So and again, uh, when I when I see this one, look at here. Uh, when time increases, okay. So when when time in, increases, what will happen is one by this denominator term. Uh, so this denominator term increases, so that this whole term decreases, so that this Gaussian will fall off slowly, isn't it? X square coefficient. Can you see my cursor? X square coefficient will decide how fast it should fall, isn't it? How fast it should fall. Hmm? Now, if denominator is increasing, then x square coefficient is decreasing. So, if it decreases, Gaussian will fall slowly. Hmm? I mean that. Uh, uh, so, it will not touch x-axis quickly. It will touch x-axis slowly. Okay. If as time increases, you can you can find that kind of nature here. I'll show you that one. And one more thing: this height of this one. This will talk about height of the graph. Okay. The coefficient of that one. So here I have plotted mod psi x square. Okay, so now this height of the graph again as time increases, this also decreases. Okay, because this is normalized distribution. Actually, okay, so the total area under the curve should be fine. So now when I increase time here, what will happen is area under the curve is remain same, but since because of this factor you have time here, because of this factor, okay. So the the curve width is going to increase. Can you see that one? E I think you might have plotted e power uh, x square e power ten x square e power hundred x square like that. Now this coefficient is decreasing. Time is in the denominator. See that one? Yes. A, a, a I'm not touching a. I'm not touching a. In this one, I'm I'm just uh, keeping a constant here. I'm just changing time. Hmm? So this is the this is the wave packet solution. Okay, what happens to that uh, mod size square? Okay, uh, at at later time. That's what we are seeing here. Okay, when you just uh, switch on time, what will happen is it will slowly its width will increase, height will decrease, but total area under the curve remains same. Is that okay? Hmm? And if you if you see its uh, what you call uncertainty relation, sigma x into sigma p. That's equal to h bar by two multiplied with this factor. Okay. At a time t equal to zero, it is in the lowest uncertainty limit. You need to remember this one. I think they have designed question out of it. Okay. So if if you find uncertainty for this state, okay, sigma x into sigma p, the multiplication. So that also depends on time. Okay. But when you put t equal to zero, root of one plus zero, this is one. This is equal to h bar by two. H bar by two is the lowest uncertainty limit. Am I right? Sigma x, sigma p x should be greater or equal to h bar by two. Now it it will be in the lowest uncertainty limit at time t equal to zero. Okay, at time t equal to zero, the uncertainty product is the lowest possible value. Okay, this is a, another information that you need to remember. Okay, because you may not able to execute this one in exam. These calculations are quite lengthy. Okay. But they may ask at what time uncertainty is uh, minimum possible value. Okay, uncertainty product is minimum possible value. Okay, yeah. So at at what time 
uncertainty in the uh, what you call position is minimum that's also t equal to zero this is the position probability density curve okay so can you see my cursor yeah this is the position probability density curve look at here now so again you your uncertainty is minimum here so when you when you switch uh, at later time uncertainty will increase am i right so the spread in the distribution increases that's why uncertainty will increase okay at time t equal to zero uncertainty in the proposition is the minimum value minimum possible value as well as uncertainty product is also minimum possible value that's equal to h bar by two is that okay or if you put t equal to zero here okay in this expression if you put t equal to zero what will happen this is purely gaussian okay even at t greater than zero it is gaussian only but t equal to zero is purely gaussian we say that gaussian is a, a minimum uncertainty what you call state actually okay we will see that one later we can prove that okay gaussian is a minimum uncertainty uh, wave function okay so 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 you are saying that at time t equal to zero psi takes zero hmm. it will be at a minimum uncertainty yeah again the the so so the the uncertainty product is minimum as well as uncertainty in the position measurement of position is also minimum at time t equal to zero you look into mod size square curve here this is mod size square okay is that okay so they may ask some question informative kind of i mean i, I said informative because it can't be solved you have seen him right so you have to find pi of k first okay then you have to find psi of x comma t then taking mod square itself uh, quite time consuming okay because it will contain a article imaginary parts e power i e yes, exponential power some complex thing like that you, you need to deal with this uh, with that one very carefully okay now so what i'm uh, uh, what i'm expecting you is you should remember this expression not exact expression you should remember that at time t equal to zero this uncertainty product is a minimum possible value that is h bar by 2 as well as at t equal to zero you can see here okay your position probability density it has a very less spread here okay that means position probability uh, again it has a well defined position you can say like this or sigma x is also low here okay and that sigma x also in increases you can say like that sigma x increases at time increases okay this is one part of the curve remember here i have drawn only mod psi square not sigma x into sigma p or sigma p okay i haven't drawn sigma p here okay yeah traveling gaussian free particle earlier whatever i have shown so that is stationary gaussian free particle wave packet look at here the peak was there itself am i right when you when when you see this one when you see this one the the whole packet is not moving isn't it only its width is changing so can you see this one hmm? it is not moving that's why we call it as stationary gaussian free particle wave packet okay gaussian wave packet but stationary it's a uh, stationary it's not moving along x axis okay its width is changing that's it okay so that's that's what you need to observe so now let me take traveling gaussian free particle wave packet it is given in jetily as well as griffiths outside problem okay so along with e power minus ax square i have e power i k not x as a initial wave function can you compare with earlier hmm? it was a e power minus a x square so now this is a e power minus a x square e power i k not x k not is a wave vector only actually okay again you can find pi of k now pi of k will be quite different from earlier okay and you can find psi of x comma t and you can find mod psi x comma t the whole square yes so what about the function this one no, no, this is the initial wave function. Initially, we are preparing a free particle with this state. This is the idea. Yeah. No, no, this is also called as Gaussian. This psi x comma zero 
it's also called as gaussian actually this is most general gaussian because mod psi square of this one as well as this one is same isn't it just check that out mod psi x comma 0 isn't it because e power i theta that term will not uh, what you call contribute in but this is most general because you don't know whether there may be some phase factor e power i theta factor am i right you don't know so that's why to be in the safer side we better to take like it's the most general okay so now e power i k not x again it will play some role here when you do that one look at here can you see the difference along with x square here you got x minus h bar k not t by m the whole square isn't it gaussian only but uh, its x position is changing isn't it x minus vt x minus vt term is coming here isn't it can you compare with old expression so there was only x square here okay so but here there will be x minus vt h bar k naught by m that is v isn't it hmm? so x minus vt term so what is h h bar k naught by m that is a group velocity or velocity of the particle am i right that means whole wave packet is moving with that velocity you can see that one, okay so that can be simulated like this so this is a gaussian again again so now these expressions are same okay these expressions this uh, uncertainty and uncertainty problem they will not care where it is centered okay what this uh, h bar k not t by m x minus some something with the whole square am i right what it is doing it is shifting the location okay so it, it will not change any physical property like sigma x sigma px like that okay so that i think uh, you have some idea regarding that so when we when we do this one what will happen this will move actually along x axis okay it's, it's not shown properly but uh, i think you can see that one but uncertainty product uncertainty those are same but its location is changing now okay we call this one as traveling what is this one traveling gaussian free particle wave packet okay is that okay so at 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 time t equal to zero uh, it, it will be centered at origin you can put t equal to zero here then e power minus x square curve isn't it hmm? so uh, at at later time what would happen yeah at, at later time x minus x naught will happen isn't it so that this whole curve will shift along the x axis okay so that's the basic idea yeah any question here quickly but these parts are all remain same okay at x, x at x equal to zero it has a minimum uncertainty product at x equal to zero sorry not x what is that at, at t equal to zero at the initial time uh, sigma x is minimum as well as sigma x into sigma px is minimum possible value that is h bar by 2 those those all ideas remain same okay only the difference is it will move along x axis the whole curve will move along x axis along with uh, what you call uh, uh, sh changing shape the location of the curve is moving okay if you compare is that okay when you compare look at here what is the difference between this blue and I mean earlier one and new one? Only thing is location of the red curve is moving. Okay, location of blue curve remains same. Okay, so that is the difference given by this factor e power i k not x h. Is that okay? Moving, and this is the most general situation. Actually. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you got some idea. Something should be grabbed here. One is, uh, again, uh, your uh, sigma x is low at t equal to 0. And sigma x into sigma p is also the lowest possible value, h bar by 2, at t equal to 0 for Gaussian wave packet. Either uh, stationary Gaussian wave packet or moving Gaussian wave packet. Okay, whatever you take. Yeah, any any question quickly? So, so yeah. this graph is only one particle or group particle? Oh, only one particle, only one particle. One particle is is prepared in the different momentum state. That's why pay packet happened. Am I right? Integral of dk. We are talking about only one particle, state of one particle. Okay. okay. Because again, it's a superposition of different momentum states. So, do it have a bound state? 
No, no, this is not a bound state, okay? I mean, because we are talking about free particle here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so it, it will have a sigma p, yeah. Okay, the whole wave packet solution have got sigma p. Sigma p means standard deviation in the p, yeah. Okay, so observation or after observation? Before observation. Before observation. After observation, you will get one of the momentum. You will get one of the position. That's it. Is that okay? Then it will be collapsed to that particular state. So one yeah, yeah, happens, happens. Okay, we shall study that one. Again, if you do position measurement, it will collapse to position eigenstate. If you do what you call momentum measurement, it will collapse to momentum eigenstate. Okay, we shall see. But this is superposition of momentum eigenstate. You can say like that. Superposition of different position state together. Hmm? Yeah. So this is not a bound particle. Okay. I mean, uh, so this this whole thing is a, is a is a for free particle. Okay. If it is bound bound particle, then psi again initial solution itself would be normalizable, isn't it? Our initial solution was not normalizable. E power i k x. Do you remember? That's why we started uh, taking linear combination in terms of integral. And forming wave packet solution, okay, which was normalizable. So that's why this is physically realizable. That's what I'm saying. This one is physically realizable, okay. 